Okay, it actually started that time. <laughs> Hello, viewers. I'm SB, and welcome back to Everspace. I tried to uh, pick up the recording during the jump in. Like you take do, the risk. But... This area of high level activity might be worth your while. All right, all right. So we're gonna have to deal with this nonsense. So let's. Uh... Oh, hey, nice. We have some sort of assistance. I actually don't really have great weapons for this. I mean, I guess just dropping some corrosion missiles on them is maybe not a bad idea. Will those work through the... I don't know if this uh, shield maybe works a little bit differently because it's a... Because the shield is not a standard shield or, you know... Whoa. Alright, you know what? Taking entirely too much damage over here. <laughs> that was maybe not the best possible use of an Arc 9000, but it sure did solve the problem, didn't it? Hostiles are, are targeting me? us. You picking up new hostiles already? Okay. I gotta say, I am not in love with uh, the amount of damage it took for that flat cannon to bring down that drone. Okay, so that was, uh, that was bracing. That was a good start, huh? And I think we actually came out of it up health, because I'm, I'm pretty sure I was not at full health when I jumped in here. Dodging so effectively. This thing is fast. Ooh. I don't know why. Um, it seems like the I'm being overwhelmed type voice lines play a lot more when there's only one or two things shooting at me. Oh, we got more incoming. Oh, this is why I didn't pop my devices during that last fight, in case stuff got a little bit more serious in the near future. Now listen, I'm not complaining about having a shield that makes me invulnerable from one side. But man, I wish it could do the thing that it does without, um, without totally blinding me when I'm being shot at. Okay. Hey, GNB. Nice to see you. I gotta say, the GNB guys occasionally showing up perk has, uh, has been really nice. What am I even doing? Was there DNA here? Or no, there's DNA further along in this sector. That's what it was. Okay, all that matters is get the DNA and, of course, survive and beat the game again. Ooh, look at that. Look at how smooth that piloting is. Everybody stop and marvel at how smooth the piloting was. If you have to pause the video, I understand. I also won't. I won't know, so it seriously will not bother me. So there's a shield generator. That looks like a functional GMB base. But GMB doesn't use shield generators, usually. Am I misreading this situation? Is this a GMB base parked outside of one of those... Uh, one of those bases that the outlaws dig into the rocks sometimes? No, oh, they're mining. Huh. This is the first time I've ever seen a G&B shield generator. Well, I'm not going to mess with it, I guess. I'm going to snatch this ore. Right, let's go see if we can have uh, some words with these guys before the time runs out. I think we're probably pushing it. Kind of a, It's kind of a walk from here. Alright. Oh, 
But we finally noticed. I'll get that in a second. Alright, so I was considering building adaptive armor, right? And uh, helpful commenters helpfully reminded me of that. The mainframe override is, like, really good and powerful when it works, but it's also extremely unreliable. And adaptive armor just does what it says it's going to do. It just makes me take less damage. So I kind of think that we're probably, uh, probably going to replace this mainframe override. I mean, like, if we could get it to work in a really dangerous fight, it would be great. But the unreliability of it really, really sucks. Like, a lot. amount of gas that's probably actually worth picking up given how much trouble we've been having with gas this time. I guess I got everything. Man, this node sucked. I think we made it out maybe around the amount of health we came in with. There's a lot of combat that did not go that well. Okay, here we go. Here's where the DNA was. So if we can pick up like Three or maybe even four per run. That's pretty interesting. Oh, hey, how you doing? What we are seeking is in the craft ahead. What is it that? It appears to be another clone. Another oh, you. Oh, that's this how this works. This is too weird. What are the chances he'll listen to reason? As much as you are capable of reason, unpredictable. I'm gonna go after the big guy and let. Identify yourself. Let the other You're dudes do like the thing they're doing. What the? No. No, this is. No, this actually. Trick. This iteration has not been active long. I hope this is not too just die, just die, just die. But you should take definitive action. I'm blinded, baby. You need that die. DNA to survive. I'll have to do this the hard way. It's too risky otherwise. There can only be one of us to make this work. I don't... Is that right? Isn't that kind of like the opposite of what we're doing? Because I kind of thought the whole point was that I was trying to make it so that we could survive for longer. I was trying to stabilize the whole line of clones. What's my long-term plan here? Am I going to stabilize the line and then, what, set us all on fire? Just, like, burn down the clone thingy? The clone production facility? Okay, well, you did a good job smashing up a lot of them. So I appreciate that. Let's pick up the dark energy and then the DNA. So is this just a coincidence, I wonder, or are the DNA nodes going to tend to be um, ancient nodes as well? Also, where exactly are we launching from? I just sort of um, load up and I'm in here. But, like, where are these ships getting launched from? I don't really have a way of phrasing it that's any different than the way I phrased it at first. What, what are the mechanics of me getting out here? Because I feel like that has a, a pretty big effect on my understanding of the mechanics of him getting out here. So here's, a, here's another bummer. I don't have any idea where the... Uh... Okay, it looks like that ore is actually inside the thing. Is that right? Yeah. Huh. I don't have any idea where he died. And DNA is not showing up on my monitor, so... Let's just sweep around a bit. Oh, wait, that can't be the case. We have sensory overload. I guess sensors impaired... No, sensors impaired doesn't affect sensory overload, does it? Because we did a whole run with sensory overload on and we saw everything on every node. So my clone killed one and a half of those uh, of those dudes, the bad guys, the little ancients. 
and then I presume died, and that's why the remaining split up ancient came after me. He just like poofed. What, does he run away if I don't kill him fast enough? That is really crappy. Yeah, man, if like uh, if we're supposed to drop everything and focus on them, they really shouldn't spawn in nodes with multiple ancients, because that's not something that really I could even do anything about. Well, that sucks a huge amount, and I'm really mad. I'm not really mad, but I'm I'm slightly mad. I'm very mildly annoyed. Also, this could open fast. I'm annoyed about that, too. Take that. Take that, ancients. Feel my righteous fury. Well, I just got an achievement that suggests that that may have been the last glyph. So maybe those ancient nodes won't spawn anymore? That would certainly make it easier to collect my DNA. To make a delivery. A simple task, uh, although it will yeah. earn you some credits. Alright, let's, um, let's put together some missiles to work with real quick. So the thing that's limiting me is scrap. See mail coordinates for details. Oh no wait, that was right up there. There we go, that's the device I wanted. I'm way more worried about this guy than I am about the Interceptor. Interceptors mostly do very poor damage and then die, it seems like. Oh gee, what a surprise. The, uh, the mainframe override didn't work. I should definitely just trash that. Because as it is, it's screwing me up. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is not where I want to be. I have no energy. Um, use now. Use now. Uh, I can't tell it to use another one. Let's dump this. It's causing me nothing but problems. Can I build adaptive armor right now? Do I have the gear? Uh, Mark three. I'm short. Scrap. Everything is scrap, man. Okay, so I don't really want to use up scrap, but I don't think we're gonna kill this thing without some plasma torpedoes. Guys, finish it off. Get their combat drone out. Okay, we got there. Okay, so if you get real close to their underside, they seem to not be able to hit you with the uh, with the big terrifying gun. And that thing jumped in right on top of me. All right, uh, we got some scrap. Ooh, salvage. Let's get that adaptive armor in here. <clears throat> oh no, I used up way more scrap than I got right I built missiles. Okay, that's fine. I'm sure we'll get some more scrap here. We just gotta take it easy on the crafting for a minute. Oh, I see mineable scrap over there too. That's good. So we didn't even finish looting that first battle. Let's do some of that. So we have three combat drones out right now. Ooh, nano injector mark three, nice. That is a good find. Okay, I don't know how that guy suddenly just appeared. I should be able to see everything that's on the on the map, shouldn't I? Maybe this sensory overload doesn't work as well as it says it does. Drone knows I'm here. 
That'll get his attention, I'm sure. Wow, good work, guys. Gene B, help! Uh, that might be inside the rock, it might just be on the other side. Uh oh. My GMB dunes aren't jumping out immediately, are they? Because we have incoming. Like, lots of incoming. I think they did. I think they jumped out immediately. <laughs> oh, I don't want to target my own drones. What is the what is the use case for being able to target my own drones? When would I ever want to do that? Okay, I do not need a sensor relay Mark III. Thank you. Well, that's a fair amount of scrap. How much do I have now? I have enough. There we go. Alright, energy is going to be a little bit more limited, but I'm also going to be a fair amount tougher. Man, there's a lot of stuff in this node, at least. Although most of it seems to be garbage, I guess. Um, finding terrible stuff is, in fact, uh, just finding tightly bundled scrap, right? Alright. We gotta grab stuff in kind of an efficient way, because we do not have an infinite amount of time here. But also, I, I'm a little nervous, and I kind of want to just go straight for the... Um... Shoot, I might get that. I kind of want to just go straight for the jump suppressor, too. I get close enough to grab and disassemble. I'm only a hundred meters away, come on! Okay, the answer is no, in fact. There's no way in there from this side with this ship. I'd have to go around a little bit. Really? Okar Force is inbound? Okay. That's not awesome. There's no way. That was a really short time, right? Okay, this is gonna suck. And of course, they're coming in between me and the suppressor. Alright, here we go. Get, there we go. Gotta get his back. Alright, I'm hoping that they come in in waves, or we'll be able to, like, just take this, take this wave on, and then this guy doesn't have, doesn't have a shield. Okay. Where did that look go? I lost it. I lost the, um, suppressor. There it is. It's this way. Why are there so many mines? This is like three minefields, all compressed into one minefield's worth of space. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> well, the tension's exciting, at least. Calculate, calculate. Okay, and then all of a sudden, all of the mines locked onto me and charged me at once. Come on, come on, come on. I'm hearing a lot of pings. Ooh, that was a lot of fire behind me. That might have been a Corvette. It might have been a Corvette's worth of fire behind me. Okay, we need a service station. Real bad. I think this is the first service station I've actually gotten to go to this time. This is oh, back. Come on. You're killing me. Where's the service station? It's over there. Alright. Let's try to get GMB fighters arriving to support. You That's fantastic. Oh yeah, I know. Oh I know. Don't don't listen. Don't I know it. Let's get over to here. Okay. Front shield. We'll just face this way the whole time. Huh, all my drones died. That seems to happen a lot. Okay. I'm hoping to get some support from GMB here. The Corvette is uh, firing 
at me, but right behind me is GNV, so hopefully uh, we can engineer a situation here. Hopefully we can engineer an international incident here. Man. That was, uh... That was four plasma torpedoes. And a, uh... And four corrosion missiles. And that was not sufficient. Come on. I don't suppose I have the materials to construct a drone. No, of course not, because I'm out of scrap. Ugh. This is real bad. Okay, this is turn off for them. There we go. Just in time for a whole lot more dudes to show up. Taking a lot of damage. Please die. Why isn't anything dying? Why is there. It seems to me like the enemies have gotten far, far tougher in the last, like, note or two, or like, all of my weapons have started dealing less damage. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna have to pop a nano injector, first of all. <sighs> Secondly, I need energy really badly, but I suspect that energy injectors take scrap. They do, but I'm still gonna be able to make. Of uh, rank one and use it. Okay, hold on. Okay, good. Scrap. You're like an overbearing parent. You want to drive this thing, Hive? Huh? That's what I thought. Shut up. Let me do the thing. Let me do the thing. I'm a professional spaceship man. Sort of. Insofar as anybody is, I am. Hmm. Should I take an enhanced fusion blaster M6A? The thing is, my pulse laser is awesome, but it does not have enhancement. This thing is enhanced poorly, though. Or this thing is um, modded poorly. Spread mod is just kind of like garbage. The hull DPS and the shield DPS are considerably higher. Energy consumption is only a little bit higher. Yeah. Okay, so the question is do I want to keep other stuff? This flatkin just seems like a bad weapon. I guess the, the idea is that it does splash damage. Whatever, man. Swap it out. Yes, yeah, so let's launch that. Holy crap. There are, like, no words. The English language does not have intensity enough to describe my need for scrap right now. What's the effective range on the fusion blaster? <laughs> okay, well. Maybe we'll stick with the pulse laser for a little bit here. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, everything's fine. May as well fuel up. Here's what we're really looking for. Beautiful. And... Buy some ore? Sure. I will buy some ore. I keep hearing target pings. Oh, it's very bright over here. This guy's got the physics of light on his side. Surprise! Should be 
relatively easy. After fighting like 20 of them at a time, it's not so bad when you run into one or two. Alright, so there's a lot of stuff going on with this node. A lot of loose containers. All of which could contain scrap. Or things that are made of scrap. Crystal's important too. It's less important now than it used to be. Uh, because as far as I can tell, the thing that it's mostly used for is upgrades. And we have a lot of our upgrades already. Or uh, mods, I mean, specifically. Because upgrades kind of a broad, broad terminology here. Okay, so... Really, already, does it seem to you guys like the timers on these are getting shorter? Uh, where's the... over here. Well, the service station managed to mostly patch us up. Mostly patch us up. Man. I got my ability to speak knocked out of me. I guess let's go this way. Let's go away from the natural disasters. Or the natural hazards. I don't I don't have any need. I don't feel any burning need to do uh, a whole bunch of singularity from nodes. A ship in need of repairs. Supplying it with the necessary resources will earn you a reward. I hope that reward is a thousand scrap. I'll be right with you. I'm sure that whatever is going on with you is real important. I'll be, uh, I'll be right there. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you right now, if they're asking me for scrap for repairs, they could just go right to hell. Is not how we are getting down today. Alright, what do you guys want? They want compound. I will the give you. The has been able to make its repairs thanks to your assistance and sends thanks by way of reward. Yeah, compound I don't care about. Compound may as well be infinite. Boy, this is a pretty low-risk, medium-risk node. I don't know if I've ever seen a lower-risk, medium-risk node. There don't seem to be any enemies here at all. There should probably be some turrets over in this area. Or just another giant minefield. Oh, why not both? Scrap, it's worthwhile. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This whole place is exploding. I honestly don't even 100% uh, know what compound is used for. It's just one of the crafting ingredients. I don't think I've ever been short compound. Right, well, you know, I think we were due for a peaceful note or two. Probably just a peaceful note, because I think, uh, I believe the next one is high risk again. <sighs> but this was pleasant. We managed to, uh, put together some resources, get paid a little bit, even though I don't particularly care about getting paid anymore. Yeah, let's head to the trader. I think I would much rather take a high risk node that has no hazard. <laughs> okay, so... Yep, Corvette immediately wants to shoot at me, even though there's a ton of outlaws bearing down on it. Here 
there is, of course, a sniper. I'm gonna scrap this. How much scrap do I have left? 15? That does not build a lot of torpedoes, I'll tell you that. Alright, we're just gonna have to get right up on it and missile turret to death. Actually, this would probably be a good time to go to the fusion blaster, too. Really strip the shield. Okay, my drones are dealing with his drones pretty well. Alright. Me and the outlaws, working together. What a bunch of heroes. Yeah, this was a... This was a mess. This was a hell of a scene. Really, really like the way this weapon feels. Okay. Well, that went down pretty easy. I didn't really even have to use any consumables. We didn't lose any of the drones either. We're gonna have to keep the pulse laser armed most of the time. But when we're already in on enemies, uh, we can switch to the. Uh, Switch the fusion blaster. So hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. I'm trying to tell if there's a singularity here. Well, I guess we can look around and see if we see... I don't think I do. If there was a singularity here, we would probably be able to detect some treasure objects that were just uh, dark matter, right? Floating in the middle of nowhere. And we do not, so... story over here. I have to say, these these nodes, as much as I don't <laughs> love playing them because they're very stressful, these nodes are very, very cool looking. Ow. I almost made it into there without crashing into anything. I was actually just about to say something. About how pleased I was with my flying. For cast -offs, by the looks of things. Hey, listen, I grew up poor. I'm acquiring a taste for free stuff. Can I really not fit through here? No, I can fit through here. I did have to be nudged a little bit by a mine explosion, apparently. It's cool. We'll uh, we'll heal it all in the jump. Combat drones are pretty great. Yeah, combat drones are pretty great. Okay. Yep, sensory overload does not pick up turrets. You made him crash into that rock. Yeah, you know, when I have the uh, when I have the turrets all when I have the turret fired up and I have all the drones out, I really don't have to do a lot of shooting, which is kind of great. Feels very powerful. Good credits. All right, I think we've been reasonably thorough, and this place creeps me out, so let's get out of here. I'm still really annoyed about 
that DNA. So I guess we have to rush to kill our clone, maybe? If we see him? It wasn't an issue the first time because he got killed by something else, but he must have gotten... It must have happened pretty quickly. Okay, another drone carrier. Always with the drone carriers. I'm trying my best to clear these. These anti-missile drones. There we go, I got your number now. And I've run out of energy. It's alright, missile turret's got it for control. We've seen a lot of extra contacts here. Are these all outlaws? It looks like they are good. I'd hate to have to fight them alone. As it is, I can kinda stay out of combat, honestly. Okay. So we started near the jump suppressor, and then I kind of got distracted and flew away from it over time. Let's figure out where that is. I'm also going to figure out all this loot. Alright, where the heck is the jump suppressor? Over here. Ooh, that's 12 scrap. Not gonna turn that down, it might be a whole missile. Alright. <sighs> Given how quickly the Okar have been showing up, it's probably pretty important to get that done as soon as possible so that we can jump out of here. don't really care about a secure container. How many access keys do I have? I actually, never mind, I have four access keys. We can go ahead and blow one in a not totally optimal way. We'll be fine. Energy for this? Okay, there we go. All of my combat drones are dead again. Uh, use? We are really going through combat drones quickly.
man. There we go, finally, Jesus. Don't even have enough boost around. I uh, don't even have enough boost left over to run around and pick up the, uh, the loot at full speed. What is the world coming to? All right, what do we have over here? Another Arc 9000 wouldn't be bad. Alright, well, no such luck. We don't have to fight that drone carrier. In fact, we don't have to do anything. Let's just get the hell out of here. So we're coming up on the end of Sector 5. We've gotten a couple of ancient jumps, which have certainly helped in shortening the run. That is an Okar frigate. That is a little bit different than a Corvette. Alright, why don't we deal with this stuff first? I don't have to fight the frigate, so maybe I won't. Don't know, we'll have to see. Because it can't suppress our jump or anything. Except... You know, as in the traditional met method of, uh, or meaning, rather, of suppress, which is to say, shoot an awful lot of guns at it. So I'm being sniped. I am aware of it. See if we can figure out where it's coming from. Oh, wait a second. Eh, you know what? I don't care about that. Well, I didn't see the blast. Still don't see anything. Okay, there we go. That's something. Is it coming from near the Corvette? Or near the frigate? It might be the frigate, actually, that's shooting at me. Right, why am I hearing so many pings? We are probably going to have to use a nanobot injector if we fight that. We'll just, uh, take cover in here for a moment. Out of greed, not cowardice. It's much more defensible. Very disappointing crystals. We should just leave, right? I should just leave. I'm not fighting this thing. Right, we're going to this way. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. If 
Fate Crystal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I can kill a frigate. I just don't see any reason to. Oh no. Oh god. Uh, there are no rocks that are big enough to hide behind. So... Okay, there we are. Nope. Just... Just not... I'm not even interested. We are just immediately leaving. In a ship with a shield, this is terrifying enough. Uh, okay, well, we gotta take the high-risk path if we want our DNA. And I guess we do. Pretty here, very purple. Starting to see Mark III ships. Outlaws and Okar living together in harmony for some reason. Are the drones shooting at mines? Is that what's happening? That would be really great if the drones could clear the mines out for me. Especially great would be if the drones did not die to the mines in the process. Hundred and twenty six credits. Let's get away from the mines before we lose any drones to them. All right. So there's some swarm fighters over here. Then this is where we're headed. This is where the next loot is. There's a lot of Okar hovering around those G and B. I can't imagine they're actually fighting though. Credits. Better value by weight. Oh wow. The drone just invasive maneuvered his way right into a rock face. I can't explain why, but the fact that he got his front shield generator off feels to me like a failure. This could Come be on. a sticky situation here. There we go, there's no decent Jumping in the way, trying to save its brothers. It's very misguided. Am I taking actual damage from something, or is it just drone fire? Okay. Now, these are real actual ships, though. 
For these, I want a little bit less finesse, a little bit more raw murdering power. I need energy. I stop boosting, but I need to not get hit. Ah, there we go. Fair enough. That annoys me a lot. But the uh, the force of enemies harassing me is perfectly equal parts. Oh no, I guess they're all Okar. I was gonna say I thought this guy was an outlaw. It would be very annoying with one outlaw ship and one Okar ship ignoring each other so they could fight me. Well, okay. If you guys insist. So yeah, I'm taking rather more damage than I would like. I'm definitely a little concerned. All right, let's try to get over to that DNA. Oh, I hate it. Any risky maneuvers here? Thanks for the concern, but really, my concern is more for the ship. It's an Okar Corvette firing at outlaws. Oh boy. There is a singularity. Yeah, this is the worst of all possible worlds. There is a large ship jump suppressor in a dark singularity region. If I don't manage this relatively carefully, this could be the end of the run right here. Is the missile shield off again already? Or the missile turret, rather? Oh. Alright. We've got to get this Corvette down. We're going to have to uh, use an injector. No. I do not get to damage my primary weapons. I kind of need to wait for everything to come off cooldown. We have a lot of scrap now, so let me build up some torpedoes. I'm just going to go whole hog. How did I stumble into this turret? Also, no combat drones ever. No materials. I am seriously just dumping all of the plasma torpedoes. Well, yeah, okay, all of them. Okay, we got him. He damaged my inertia dampeners, and I actually don't have the plasma to fix those. Fantastic. That's real bad. You know we're not getting the plasma? Here. Let's grab the stuff that he dropped and get the hell out. I know this stuff's safe, because if it wasn't, he'd be, he would have been dead. Okay. The sniper's got a real good beat on me. Okay, Jesus. So we're actually really low on everything. Jumping into a high-risk area. Uh, I do have a nano-injector. You know, there was no... Um, there was no marking indicating the presence of a natural hazard in this sector. And yet. Here we are. 
All right. Fusion Blaster is actually the best way to go against these things, but the Pulse Laser will let me hit them from further. We're going to need every centimeter here. Now closed to fusion range. Stop damaging me. Yeah, not fast enough. Not fast enough to get away. Ah. When they uh, when they die, they seem to pull me in for a second. Oh. Okay, that ended up not being too bad. Actually, I may have I may have held about steady on hit points thanks to the thanks to the leech. Oh my god, my inertia dampeners. So there's a um, there's a ship here. A bit of busted colonial station. And we kind of need to get in there. Because we need anything that could drop components. But it is going to be very, very dangerous. Alright, here's all the dark energy that the other ones were made out of. Okay, we have incoming. Maybe we'll get lucky and these dudes will drop a bunch of plasma. Okay, I may have overprepared. I'm going to take my tea, if I may say so. You may not. It's my call. Have you ever noticed that Adam Rosling clones are kind of, like, defensive and a little bit whiny? Alright, there's at least one more functional container here. I hate, 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 hate driving this thing with no inertia dampener. Plasma. Damn it. There's plasma fields everywhere, always, except when my inertia dampener is all screwed up. You know what? Do I have anything I can disassemble that has plasma in it? Because we like seriously very much need this plasma. I mean, this is really it, right? That's not gonna help me. And I have no missiles. Everything's on cooldown. Horribly wounded. Alright. Let's do it. One down. Oh my god, it is so hard to turn with the damaged inertial dampeners. And the missile turret absolutely cleans up, takes care of absolutely everything. It's such a good turret. Who's a good turret? That's right. It's you. So how am I gonna uh, find any plasma here? There's no plasma clouds. I can see that already. Man, this has been very difficult. I didn't realize I could lock on to that kind of stuff. I basically can't, right? I basically can't get into the thing with my inertia dampener busted. I'll just I'll just smash into walls constantly. But it has a bunch of containers inside of it, and I need the stuff that is in containers. Oh, wait. Yeah, electric fields usually have garbage floating in them. Hmm. Not really a lot. So, mineable scrap. I mean, mostly what we're seeing here is, uh... 
man. I think we're getting battle music because of the turrets. Okay, where is an entrance? I kind of think I can't just skip this. I think I have to get in there. I need the I need turret access or uh, turret. I need container access. Come on, plasma, plasma. Credits. Processors and scrap. Missile turret is on. Bam! Oh, hey, that's a turret. Okay, we got a lot of compound. A lot of credits, a whole lot of credits. Many more credits than I need. Alright, let's try to pick up this stuff without killing myself. I'm getting pretty concerned about uh, my ability to deliver my goods here. That was enough. Okay. There. I feel considerably better. It's still tight in here. It's always a little tricky with the gun chip inside these things, but... Ooh, hull bonus. Ow. Okay, I am definitely not hitting anything. I know there's another one in there, but we, we really cannot stick around. And there's always only one subroutine. There was, an there was another um, big crate. But there was not going to be another subroutine, so we got the important one. Ooh, no, man. Okay, let's stay away from the world. Somewhere around here is my dumbass clone. Alright, hold up. Uh, nano injectors, 270, 315, 360, so 1153, 2153, 4169, 2155. So actually it looks like the most efficient thing to do is to use nano injector mark twos. I'm getting 63 health per nanobot and scrap, whereas this is 60 health per nanobot and considerably less per scrap. Yeah. For some reason you can't ever just use now twice. Okay. That's better. That's better. Where the hell is my clone? Why is he so close to the surface of the star? How am I supposed to... Mm. Alright. There's a Corvette down there. Nah. Nah. Well, hold on. Actually, let's. this is an okay time to play with mechanics. Nope, never mind. We got Grey Goo situation. I just saw the tail end of it. I guess we're only taking one. I guess we are only taking one DNA. Alright, so that sucks. And I kind of just want to get out of here, right? Like, there's nothing I could... I guess I could pick up some scrap, but like, let's just leave. I'm curious what awaits us at Sector 7, and I do not want to risk dying. Weave, weave, weave. 
Okay, I managed to only take one hit there. I will probably heal for more on this jump than I took in damage, so that's good. So is there going to be another fight at the lab, or like what, what happens now? I could have pulled up to three DNA there. Yep. There are still some scavengers remaining. While they are present, we cannot enter the lab. If I clear the way inside, I take it we can start using the DNA fragments to fix me? Or rather, fixing your next iteration of clones once we have all the fragments required. Yeah, I hope this is worth it. Okay, so it really, like, it behooves me to go find all the artillery turrets and make sure they're turned on. It looks like it's just a single wave, though. I think in the upper left just says three of eight right now. Let's get all of our turrets activated. This takes forever. You better pull up there, buddy. Oh, he totally did, actually. It worked out just fine. Oh, good, an access key. All we have to do is kind of keep them near the, uh, yeah, near the turrets. These, these bigger bomber ones are, uh, actually a lot less dangerous. Okay. Uh, because they're much more likely to get killed by the turrets. We're gonna need a little bit of fire support, though. Now that we've killed his anti-missile drones. That was my anti-missile drone. is now possible. Be quick about it. Okay. Okay. Figured it out. Well, I get to bring a whole one... Ugh. Right, looks like we've activated all of the artillery turrets now. I still don't know where to find the thing you're supposed to put into the missile silo. Pistol scrap, plasma field, plasma field. All right, when you get close to it, it says that you don't have an energy core, right? Yeah. Where do I find such an energy core? I don't know. Alright, let's go let's go score this one DNA. Man, that is harsh, expecting me to get a DNA that is like on the surface of a star. What the heck am I Cloden doing over there anyway? There's no way that guy got out of there. I'm gonna run out of energy before we get to the lab. Okay, here we go. You do not have to get very close. Oh, not even a, not so much as a tiny cinematic. Well, we picked up some new, cool sounding enhancements. Let's have a quick look. It might have been the end of the enhancements too. Because I got, yeah, I got a bunch of achievements, so. Ooh, when crafting a primary, the weapon will be enhanced, but secondaries can't be crafted. That is a real bummer. Is there anything else here? What else, what else haven't we seen? Alright, those are all pretty straightforward and not really very interesting. Weapons no longer require energy and deal 25% more damage, but your shield is permanently disabled, so you have to play the Interceptor or Scout as though it is the gunship. That sounds 
very difficult, but it makes certain certain weapons really, really, really good. Uh, when fired, secondary weapon split in two, but runs always start with only one empty secondary weapon slot. You're given a very powerful ancient shock rifle, which deals even more damage the lower your ship's hull hit points are. But your, shell, your ship's hull is damaged each time you fire, and no other weapons can be used. Hmm. Fifty percent less collision damage. Okay, the ancient weapon. Hmm. I wonder. It seems like you could get yourself into a position where you can't really fire. Maybe we'll try it out on the next run. For right now, we have 52,000 credits to spend, so... Should I try to... Build up the scout? Make the scout runnable? I feel like it's very difficult to use the scout. Hmm. Increased sensor range does not sound all that good. So if we were going to upgrade these, it would probably just be like hull and energy upgrades on the ships we already have. Some armor for this one. I mean, the scout's the only ship we haven't actually delivered to the end, right? And in fact... Oh no, we did get to Sector 4. Hmm. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's upgrade this ship, I guess. So, improved sensor range might be okay, but also we might just run with sensory overload, because it's pretty powerful. Hmm. A lot of these just don't seem any good. Yeah, like, we'll take... I don't really want consumable slots, but I need it to unlock enhancement slots, which I definitely do want. Yeah, only one secondary is pretty bad. I don't know, man. This ship just seems kind of, like, crappy. Well, let's, uh... I'm sure we can max the hull. God, its energy core is so bad, too. Right, we'll give it some more of that. And I don't know that this has any value at all, honestly. Uh, that also doesn't really have any value. I honestly don't, I don't even know what to do with our money anymore. Alright, that's gonna be it for now. Come back next time. We're gonna try to get the, uh, the Colonial Scout here out through the, uh, finally into Sector 7, and maybe we'll be able to pick, uh, more than one DNA up while doing it. And we'll see you then.